Heart Room friends. It was so nice seeing some of you today um, at school doing the uh, driving through and picking up your materials. Um, it was great to see your faces. I miss you all. Um, we're going to read the BFG today by Roald Dahl. Um, and we're on page 52 if you have the book at home and you want to follow along. And the last time we read, you'll remember that Sophie was just getting introduced. Oh, there's Owen. Everybody say hi to Owen. <laughs> Sophie was just being introduced to a snoz cumber. So as you can see, they're going to try a snoz cumber today. And you can tell by the BFG's face how he's feeling about that snoz cumber. Here we go. Do we really have to eat it, Sophie said? You do unless you is wanting to become so thin you will be disappearing into a thick ear. Into thin air, Sophie said. A thick ear is something quite different. Once again, that sad, winsome look came into BFG's eyes. Words, he said, is oh, such a twitch twickling problem to me all my life. You, so you must simply try to be patient and stop squiggling. As I am telling you before, I know exactly what words I wanted to say, but somehow or other they is always getting quick quiddled around. That happens to everyone, Sophie said. Not like it happens to me, the BFG said. I is speaking the most terrible wigglish. I think you speak beautifully, Sophie said. You do, cried the BFG, suddenly brightening. You really do? Simply beautifully, Sophie repeated. Well, that is the nicest present anybody is ever giving me my whole life, cried the BFG. Are you sure you is not twiddling my leg? There's the BFG talking to Sophie. not, Sophie said. I just love the way you talk. How wonder crump, cried the BFG, still beaming. How whoopsie slunk, splunkers. How absolutely squiffling. I is all of a stutter. <laughs> Listen, Sophie said. We don't have to eat snoz gummers. In the fields around our village, there are all sorts of lovely vegetables like cauliflowers and carrots. Why don't you get some of those next time you go visiting? The BFG raised his great head proudly in the air. I is a very honorable giant, he said. I would rather be chewing up rocks and snoz cumpers than snitching things from other people. You can guess what snitching means. You stole me, Sophie said. I did not steal you very much, said the BFG, smiling gently. After all, it was only a little tiny girl. Now we're on chapter called The Blood Bottler. The Blood Bottler. Suddenly, a tremendous thumping noise came from under the outside of the cave entrance, and a voice like thunder shouted, Runt! Is you in there, Runt? I is hearing you jabbling. Who is you jabbling to, Runt? Look out, cried the BFG. It's the blood bottler. But before he had finished speaking, the stone was rolled aside, and a 50-foot giant, more than twice as tall and twice as wide as the BFG, came striding into the cave. He was naked, except for a dirty little piece of cloth around his bottom. Sophie was on the tabletop. The enormous, partly eaten snoz cumber was lying near her. She ducked behind it. The creature came clumping into the cave and stood towering over the BFG. Who is you jabbling to in here just now, he boomed. I is jabbling to myself, the BFG answered. Fizzlefuzz, shouted the blood bottler. Bug swallop, he boomed. You is talking to a human being. That's what I is thinking. No, no, cried the BFG. Yes, yes boomed the blood bottler. I is guessing you had snitched away a human being and brought it back to your bunghole as a pet. So now I is winkling it out and guzzling it as extra snacks before my supper. Look at the giant. Look how much bigger the blood bottler is than the BFG. The poor BFG was very nervous. There's n n no one in here, he stammered. W why don't you l leave me alone? The bud blotter, bottler pointed a finger as large as a tree trunk at the BFG. Runty little scum screwer, he shouted. Piffling little swig fistler. Squimpy little blood bottle wart. Prunty little pog swizzler. I is now going to search the primroses. He grabbed the BFG by the arm and you is going to help me do it. Us together is going to winkle out this tasteful little human being, he shouted. So we'll stop there, boys and girls, for today on page 57, and we'll read tomorrow to find out whether the bud blood bottler finds Sophie. Have a good evening.